could be different if I was with you. If I was with you. Well, you may well have recognised the streets of Wellington in that clip. That is because it is the music video for One Plus One by musician Graham James, who has spent a lot of time busking around Wellington. Best known for his amazing covers, he's now released his very own album, and he's currently in the midst of his News From Nowhere tour. Welcome, Graham. Hello. Really lovely to have you here. Now, I had to write these down because there's so many of them. <laughs> uh, you sing and you play all of the instruments on your album, uh, violin, guitar, bass, Baritone ukulele. Mm -hmm. What are they even? Is a baritone ukulele? It's a pretend ukulele. Uh, <laughs> percussion. It's a cross between a guitar and you. <laughs> so you do like the triangle and everything as well. Oh, yeah. um, beatboxing. Yeah. Uh, and you do it all with the loop pedal as well. Yes. Yeah. Have I left any instruments out? Uh, no. You nailed it. That's smashed it. That's absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's impressive. Where did it all start for you? Uh, so I kicked things off with the violin um, when I was seven. Did your mum uh, make you? No, so when I was five, um, my parents asked if I wanted to play any instruments. I didn't know what it was called, I just went like this. And they said, that sounds dangerous, we'll, <laughs> we'll hold off. And what about a nice quiet yeah, yeah, something? something? Yeah, and so... Uh, two a recorder, yeah. Yeah, indeed. Two, well, no. Uh, two years <laughs> later, I still wanted to play it. So, yeah, they got me lessons and put up with horrible noises for a long time. So you're doing it all your life, learning different instruments. Mm. A loop pedal mm. must have come along and changed your life pretty dramatically. Can you explain to people what a loop pedal is if they don't know? Yeah, so it's a device that records things live and plays it back. Um, so you do a thing and then it carries on doing it and you can make layers upon layers upon layers. And, and you're a bit of a beatboxer too, aren't you? you no, I'm, adic I'm adequate. Oh, I've, heard, no, I've heard you on some of your no, 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 no. little. <laughs> what, what I find really fascinating with the loop pedal is that you, I, I don't know how you've got enough compartments in your brain or tabs open in your brain <laughs> to remember what you're doing because you lay something down mm. and then you go back and sort of lay, but you're doing it all as live, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So Could you do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like driving. Over time, everything becomes natural and you're doing crazy manoeuvres and... Indicating. It's <laughs> parallel parking. Parallel parking. Yeah, the it's whole parallel thing. parking and music. Absolutely. I was Pedal. listening to your album, News From Nowhere, mm. the other night. Beautiful album, and I think you're exceptionally talented. Um, and then I found out that a few of your songs have been used for a TV show um, called Alive. Uh, I mean, called um, 800 yeah. Words. So what songs were used, and how did that come about? Uh, so I ended up with five, five songs off the album, which is half the songs, which is ridiculous. So um, somehow... And this is the great thing about uh, the age of the internet is that um, the producer for the show came across the song Alive when it was, that was the only song that was out. Right. And they said, can we use this? And I said, you may. And then they said, do you have anything else? And I said, well, I've got an album coming out. So I sent them some demos of the thing and they ended up using... I went, that's perfect. Yeah. That's, that's the right time. It's... We should have a little listen, actually, or a little bit of a look at Alive. Wait to see the break of dawn I've been awake now for far too long But about your busking days, I mean, you travelled all over the country, didn't you? Mm. Queenstown, you were very big there? Yeah, it was, it was a mind-blowing time. I, uh, it was just uh, over summer, just a, the perfect summer in Queenstown, and uh, ended up surprisingly pulling crowds of two, three hundred people and, and just the most crazy street parties and antics and all sorts of stuff going on, so a bit of a blast. Are the, a, you know, are the tourists more generous than the Kiwis? <laughs> uh, they've got disposable. Yeah, they, I, thought yeah. so. I don't know what this one's worth. Give it to yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the, the busking thing for you, obviously very successful, and you know, it's given you a great experience. When it comes to making an album, all of a sudden you're turning it into a business. Was that a hard decision to make? I think, it, uh, like, Going and playing a bit more indoor was quite a natural thing because it got to winter and it was actually minus five outside. So I went and <laughs> uh, I went and begged some bars to let me inside, let me play in there, and then from there it kind of things started getting more organised. And um, but the album was actually uh, funded through Kickstarter as well, which is busking is like the original crowdfunding, really. Yes, so, you're right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that's fascinating that Kickstarter helped us. Yeah. So that's how you funded the whole thing? Yeah. Do you get help from any other sort of like government bodies at all? Uh, New Zealand no. on air or anything? No, no, not this time, but um, they're great. Actually, no, it's a yeah. fantastic. We thing. love them. We yeah, do. Absolutely love them. She's Graham. <laughs> yeah. We absolutely love them. Uh, now, your cover of Young Blood by the Naked and Famous, that's got a huge amount of YouTube hits, hasn't it? I think over 35,000 last time we looked. 
Probably, yeah. yeah I think More so. than that. We've Something. been paying attention. Uh, but you got into a bit of trouble actually f filming the video for this, didn't you? Yeah, it was a, it was a live video, so yeah. we got some batteries and set up at the end of the runway in, in Wellington. Uh, in Wellington. <laughs> okay. um, it's a cool location, so we thought we'd give it a whirl, but yeah, the uh, after one take, um, guys with high-vis vests came and said, you need to not do this. But they didn't take cameras off us, so... So that's <laughs> there is at the end of... Well, you've got, you've got planes, the belly yeah. almost, almost parting your hair yeah, of the planes yeah. coming over the top. So the, okay. the planes complained to Tower, who got the people, and, and that, some that's probably, probably fair. There's some on the end of the runway filming a video. Fair enough. <laughs> love it. I love airports, too. I've got idea for squeezing as much as you could out of the footage that you had. Um, and how is the tour going? Because I know that oh. you're about, you know, ready to hit Fielding, Wellington, New Plymouth yeah. and Hastings. Yeah. Um, how's it going so it's far? It's going so well. Um, it's actually sold out all throughout the South Island, so that was oh. mind-blowing. Yeah, really such a good vibe. Nice. Really stoked there. Oh, well, let's hope the North Island is just as good. Thank yeah. you so much. Graham's album, News From Nowhere, is out now. Trust we had a listen last night. It does a beautiful duet with his wife. It is such a good album. You should have a listen. Um, and there's still time to catch him on his News From Nowhere tour. Check out the website for details.